to have you back on our today's show. In today's episode of the show, we are beaming live with an entrepreneur also far key into His Excellency Governor Udom Emmanuel Diversification into Agricultural Sector. A man who is passionate to change the dynamics, a man who is empowering the acquired might in terms of um, skill acquisition, in terms of agropreneur, um, a man who has so many hectares of um, tomatoes plantation at Oran, Akets, and name them the rest of those places. And a man who is also coming in with a tomato plant production is no other person than a, a chief executive officer of the Puri Global Limited in person of our Mr. Sam Ebe. He is not here alone. He is with a, a reputable consultant, a resourceful consultant, a man that has the onions to also impact on a pipomite all the way from Edo State in person of Comrade Gregory Exosa from uh, Edo State an agri um, business consultant in partnership with Puri Global um, Skill Acquisition Initiative <laughs> Alright Mr. Ebe, so far Tomato in Ampipo State, how successful is it and what are the challenges um, you've encountered? Yeah, thank you very much. Tomato plant, planting in Ampipo State is as easy as anything, anybody can do it. It's not a rocket science. Well, the most important thing about uh, what I have seen practically because I nursed the tomatoes myself and then I saw it in, one, in four or five days come up and um, I observe all the procedures. The most important thing I see, tomato has a lifespan that you just have to follow. It's just like a baby. You have to treat it like a baby. You have to give it the right organic uh, chemicals or manure that you need to apply. And you have to apply it at, at, the, at the time that you have to apply it. You also need to make sure that during transplanting, you transplant it exactly at a spot time. There's no time to delay because it follows its lifespan. And the lifespan of tomato is like three months growing to the harvest. And by the time you start harvesting it, the way you treated it is the way he's going to give you the berries. So that's why we have uh, been able to put farm courses in the skill acquisition center that we, we are putting together in Uyo here for the youth. You can actually come here and register so that you can take first class knowledge of uh, tomato production. The, one of the main challenge that I actually saw was the security of the berries, of the tomatoes. Because I remember one Sunday, Every month ago, I, 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 I drove to the farm early, and behold, I saw headsmen with, with a lot of uh, cows inside the farm. And um, I now realize that these people are taking these cows on Sunday morning when they know that we are going to church. This is, for me, I looked at it as still a sabotage that they don't want us to even try here. They want us to still buy tomatoes from the north. But it's not going to be possible, I'm sorry. It's not going to be possible. I'm only pleading to the government to provide more securities. And I'm also pleading to the banks, especially central bank on single digit loans, to be able to afford the SME farmers uh, uh, more little, little loans at single digits. Okay? And then we will be able to give them all the support. I can only guarantee. Once we realize that we have enough berries on ground and we can produce, we are going to invest to bring the tomato plant. Already, our technical partners in China are ready to come with us. So we just need to know that we can produce a certain tonnage of tomatoes to be able to produce. So I think with only this little effort, a lot of jobs will be created. What informed your decision and uh, what motivates you to come in here and um, what are you going to offer the Aquai Pomai? Well, thank you for having me on the Credo uh, TV show. Uh, first and foremost, I'm not a stranger in Aquai Bomb State. I'm a very proud in law in Aquai Bomb State. Uh, we've had enough uh, success story in the agricultural yeah. sector in those states where I hail from originally. Uh, coming here now to partner with uh, 
Pure Global and the Five Hectares Farm and the Sea County is a very welcome uh, development because uh, we've heard from the CEO of uh, certain hindrances that we are already having in this country as far as uh, tomatoes uh, cultivation uh, up to the harvesting is uh, concerned. Now, talking about the the, the farming enterprise, as an agricultural economist, uh, we have done enough research in Aquabon State. I have observed that uh, the land in Aquabon State is fertile enough for tomatoes production. Then uh, we are calling on on the SMEs to take advantage of this opportunity that we are offering for all hands to be on deck as regards this uh, tomatoes production. Uh, the CEO of Pure Global has. Uh, has taken the initiative to transform the entire agricultural landscape of Kwaibon State and make it a model to other states to follow that indeed we cannot be a threat. The North cannot threaten us that we cannot produce tomatoes. We can produce tomatoes and be the best at it. All right, CEO, when you were in the cost drip irrigation plantation, you now look into the cost of having the uh, weeding machine. You now look at all these costs and um, what's the profit margin of this uh, tomato plantation and so on and so forth, planting tomato in a quite home state. Uh, is it that the cost um, of um, purchasing the rates you are selling in the market, is there any difference from the one they are bringing in from the north? And, What's your message of encouragement to people who are willing to also invest in this direction? Anybody that is serious to do anything, first of all, you must have commitment. You must be ready to invest. And that's, that, that still takes us to the, the banking, uh, financial institution, uh, giving out loans to our SME. I can only give a word of encouragement to our youth because I've done a practical test and I've seen it. You cannot recover your, your money in one day. But if you have a small farm of maybe one acre, that's just going to be half, half uh, an hectare a drip uh, installation. That's an investment. What that will do for you is during the dry season, that's when you make the money. Because during the rainy season like this, Everybody can grow their vegetables, but once we get into dry season from September or so October, November, December, that's when our farm can be. People will now realize what the drip irrigation system does. It's not a rocket science or it's not a very expensive venture. It's an affordable venture. The, 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 a lot of people buy cars for 30 million, 40 million, just one SUV. So is it so too much to set up a drip irrigation farm of one hectare with like maybe 3.5 or 4 million? You can't recover the cost one day. You have to continue the farm, but within one year, because our vegetables are doing three months uh, on, on, on the average, okay? So within one year, you should be able to, you will start counting the drip irrigation cost immediately. Yeah, like what I have done here, what I have sold so far, I have recovered, uh, I'm not putting the capital fix, uh, the fixed uh, assets, but if we're looking at what we put on tomatoes and what we have brought up of tomatoes and what we are selling, I think is very encouraging. And what makes me even very much encouraged is the tomatoes is not even enough. Once we cut it, just a call away, somebody drives it and pack it, no story, it transfers the money to the bank. So. You are going to China to import anything, or you are going out to look for what you have here. We are now taking an initiative to get you to know that your soil is fertile. Try to adventure. Even though you are a civil servant, adventure. And we are there to keep giving you the knowledge. Come to Puri Global School and register the course is not going to be too much maximum a one month course and then you will get the knowledge to go and farm and when you farm your family cannot be hungry in a short while i'm planning to take a course outside the country and an agri-related course so that we can now look at the
hydroponic farming also, you know, to produce more of the vegetables. So we go step by step. We want to be the presenters and others will follow. We still want all the cooperation from the financial institution, from the government, and from everybody. Mr. Exosa, aside being an agri-business um, consultant, coming in to partner with Puri Global Services Nigeria Limited, uh, and also offer in uh, agri um, So take us on what should Akwaibo might expect from you from today and as well as you learn on the terrain of Akwaibo. Uh, you heard the CEO talking about the skill acquisition aspect. In fact, we are taking it to the new level. We don't want to talk much about what they, they call uh, the so-called uh, next level. Uh, we are taking it to greater heights. Uh, we are giving our trainees international certifications so that uh, they will be so good at the marketplace. Very, very important. Now, because we are specific on marketable skills. Uh, I'm really very delighted to partner with uh, Pure Global in that very aspect because uh, I've seen what is on ground and uh, what is on ground is what is going to take Aquaibon to the new level of holistic development as it affects the youths, the men and the women. Our program is so flexible that uh, any person can come in to acquire the skills, the requisite skills that will give them what we call good living standard because we are preaching skill development for self-reliance. You hear the CEO also talking about the individuals coming and looking at it from the PPP angle now. Uh, then uh, partnering with the government, uh, public-private partnership, uh, the government is there. The government has created an enabling environment, so we just need to take it off from there and make sure we empower our youth with knowledge and we start up packs. We are not scared about that because uh, we already have the international connection to get these start off packs. Then talking about uh, the knowledgeable funds from the bank, the CEO mentioned one digit, one digit interest rate. We are also advocating that so that those, those youth that are ready to start up, they won't find it difficult to repay those loans. And uh, there are different models that we have. Uh, we, we want to start unveiling it on, te on television now. But when you come in contact with us, you know that uh, we are really highly cerebral team. We are ready to, to be tied us in whatever we're choosing to do and get the results. You've talked about um, international certification, international exposures, international connections. Um, people watching you out there on the Cradle TV show wants to hear from you. How will that be possible? Are you saying that after training them, they will be exporters, they will be importers, and so on and so forth? They shed more light on this. Uh, my partner was talking about the international certification. He has actually seen, he has actually seen from the records or from what we have in the office, the kind of uh, uh, technical partners that we are working with. For example, if uh, we're talking about the agriculture, we have the capacity to bring a, 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 the, the South African farmers to help to cultivate if we have the learning uh, uh, environment. For whatever we do here, they are giving us a whole lot of uh, team viewer technical support. You know, we are not just waking up to go and plant uh, uh, tomatoes or try and error. That's why you can see from the farm, you, you can see a whole lot of uh, uh, production. The area of uh, uh, wheat is a major problem that we're having right now. Already we're making um, uh, 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 provision to have the, the automatic weeding machines so that it's going you know, to just help us out to take out the wheat instead of uh, using the manual level to do the, the weeding. So we have technical support for whatever we do from our international uh, partners. I mean, we, I have been in business for 27 years without working for anybody in my life. So I know what I mean when I talk about international technical support. For example, when we train for ExxonMobil, NNPC and mobile producing, we train about 200 youth of, on the catchment areas for high decoration paint. And then we attracted that fund 
Because when they saw what we did, they called us for interview. We attracted them. They had to give a grant. They, they supplied two boxes, complete two boxes, to those uh, trainees. That is what we mean by international partnership. Our partners also in Spain for the paint, they also send t-shirts, they send uh, starter packs for, uh, for those uh, trainees. And I am proud to say a lot of them are very, very, very comfortable today. Some of them, I'm, I'm still using them to work, as a matter of fact. They're still doing my paintings here and there. So, I mean, it's open and um, in a short while we're going to have a TV show uh, that they will be coming to interact with the public. All right, so we understand entrepreneurship is all about um, risk taking. Um, so far, you've chosen to invest um, in planting about um, five acres of tomatoes in a pipe home state which is um, so unprecedented aside from His Excellency that did that at the Green House um, along Hayport. So what motivates you to come into such a huge um, capital intensive um, adventure? I actually was motivated when I heard the news from the Northerners threatening not to bring uh, onions to the uh, south, and um, I asked myself, so if uh, the north was another country, are we not going to be eating onions and vegetables? And then um, I decided to, to venture to it. I never knew that it's actually going to be so green. I never knew it's going to be so successful. But as an entrepreneur, I'm always taking risk. All my life is risk. My second name is risk. So I have to take the risk, and um, the result is right here, and it's really amazing. So right now, we used to hear that the, our land is not fertile enough for tomatoes, for potatoes, for onions, and all that. So I really made a little research, and I got the consultants who are right behind me, and then we, 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 we had to go to do the practical and the result is amazing. We are selling tomatoes. His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Aquaibom State, Mr. Udo Gabriel Emmanuel, is so passionate about um, industrialization, so passionate about um, diversification of the economy of Aquaibom State and Nigeria, clutch to the agricultural sector, and Manshulin Kezi beckons on you on a PPP partnership. Um, what will be your stride and uh, will you as well um, offer to come up and help a pipeline in this regard in terms of our uh, importations of uh, machines for tomato processing and plants? We are actually very open from the one I keep saying we are very open to partnership, not only from a pipeline state government. We are looking at the South South region to participate with what we are doing because the poverty is not measured to a private alone. Poverty is really measured to Nigerians. And um, if you have the knowledge, the best thing to do is to share. Don't die with it. The best thing, share your knowledge. Let other people come to learn what you are doing. In the area of the PPP uh, partnership, I think we have already done enough. We have already invested our time, our money, we've done enough to create enabling environment for the youth, for people who want to learn. Already people have learned. I've seen uh, some young girls who came to do our, uh, our course on cosmetology, and I, I, I always see them on Facebook. They are selling. I see the followership following them. So it's, it's amazing. You can see that it's a chain reaction. We are already, as I speak to you, agriculture is just one sector. We are very vast with what we have on ground for uh, uh, the youth of Akpaibo. And for, it, it, I like always say, so everybody that want to come, anybody that want to come, who has a purpose, who has a focus, who has a direction, should come. And we are here to help them, to, to learn how to start the matter step by step. Everything is step by step. 
At times people will ask me, how are you being funded? We know how to get the bank loan and we know the figures to take. Even at the 27%, 30% they are giving. We know how to fund ourselves because we have been there. This youth should come to learn because that's why I am really here and I'm not giving up. I will try as, as much as possible to keep helping the youth in the South South. Already we have aluminum factory here. Already we have the cabinet factory here. Already we have the carpentry factory here. Already we have the paint production line. Already we have the shoe making line. And we are also, even to bar barbing, we don't want you to come and learn barbing and say I'm a barber. You have to pass through a certified school or organization. So you can be really truly certified. While we are doing this, we are taking advantage of our international connection. We have a lot of international connections. If the, if, if the country was settled, I'm sure we would have been able to bring our Turkey, Greece, Spanish, and all the rest of our partners. They are happy to come, but they are not feeling so safe. So please, His Excellency, kindly help us more on security. And also, very importantly, kindly facilitate the processes of uh, 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 governor's consent so that the citizens can have something to hold and then use it to borrow from the financial institution. I am a product of that source, so I know what I'm talking about. Thank you. All right, Mr. Greg, um, your parting shots. Um, do you have anything different from what the CEO said? Um, do you have a message for our Aquaibum State and Governor, His Excellency Governor Odun? Emmanuel, do you have a message for those out there, the younger generation who are looking for one thing or two to do, lay their hands on in order to earn a living? So what's your message and how do you see Aquaibum? Are you enjoying the environment? Um, do we have the ease of doing business here? What's your assessment? Thank you very much for that uh, question. Uh, the government of Aquaibum says has, uh, has tried in creating an enabling environment for businesses to strive, uh, uh, thriving well, but just like what the CEO said, allowing your business to thrive well is, is a question of a mindset. An enabling environment can be created, but when, there's, when, they are real, when, when they are mindset that are nowhere oriented, there will be problems here and there. Uh, the ease of doing business at Aquaibum State is also commendable from our World Bank uh, report. Uh, it's commendable when you, when you classify Aquaibum among other states of the Federation. It's quite really, really commendable. And I, uh, we are so the virtue of our dynamic governor for making the environment very enabling for businesses to thrive. Uh, one other aspect that we are going to really use in our model is the cooperative business model. Because uh, people come, when people come together, they derive more strength in doing businesses. The cooperative movement has come to stay. They, we cannot really run away from it. I shared, I shared with the CEO that uh, in no time we are going to be breaking down our trainees, our graduating, our graduating trainees into cooperative units, our long skill lines. Are you getting me now? So that it will be easy for, for us to administer their competencies because we are also raising the team of those that will also have to train others. It's a movement. That is the matter. And we are not really scared of being pioneers in this movement to transform the entire landscape of Aquaibum State to make it a model for other states to follow. And we are getting there very, very soon. Okay, so are you saying with the plantation, the harvest you have, it is enough quantity that can fit a processing plant in case of optakers coming in from different states to take it for production and so far shed more lights after planting we will also invest in a tomato processing plants we must start something from somewhere the tomato plantation farm that uh, we approved to be done in aquarium is a, a step in the right direction whatever we're doing we are trying to do it to encourage other people 
when I also read the news that Dangote tomato plant, plantation, or sorry, plant, cannot process because they don't have enough berries, I just also laughed because what I'm seeing there is we are trying to put the cat in front of the horse. Meanwhile, the horse should be in front of the cat. I said to myself, if 10% of the loan Dangote is taking is directed to the SME farmers, he will not be complaining of not having the, 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 the berries to, to produce. So what we're doing, this is a five hectare. As far as I'm concerned, the, the energy we have to put, five hectares is very small. And we're also going to encourage a whole lot of farmers. We are going to try to see how we can get a whole lot of intervention funding to support other farmers that will be able to produce tomatoes. So that we, when we set up the uh, plant, we will have berries to produce. Thank you for coming up with us on this show. In case you are just joining us, this is the Cradle TV show. We are happy to still have you here. Hope you had a swell time with us. On that interview segment with a conglomerate that is into so many things, a conglomerate that is interpreting the diversification agenda of the federal and the state um, government here in Akwa Ibom State. I mean the diversification into the agricultural sector, into skill acquisition, into so many things. I mean the conglomerate is made up of so many sectors in it. It's not that conglomerate than the Puri Global Services Nigerian Limited, a company that is how to change the dynamics. Hope you've learned one or two things from what the CEO has said. Hope you are inspired. What are you still doing? Move down to Puri Global Services Nigerian Limited um, Office Complex at um, number 65 Paul Basi Road of uh, Brook Street here in Uyo. And they also have um, branches across the world and across uh, the states in Nigeria, Abuja, Lagos. Name them, but start somewhere. Their phone numbers have been displayed on the screen. Just get there, pick a form, and then get yourself acquired one or two skills, either in farming, either in um, um, shoemaking. At least you've had a CEO listing all of them. So why are you still waiting and asking for white collar job when you can get yourself engaged, when you can get yourself, when you can be an employer of labor, when you can pay salaries? So please, my dear acquired woman, get up to let's just dakada in the spirit of the reawakening mantra of His Excellency Governor Udo Emmanuel. Now we have the Messiah in person of Mr. Sam Ebe, who is really and willing to offer all what it has in terms of changing the dynamic, in terms of ensuring that the youth are not roaming around the street. So get up, call his number, look for him, go to him. Thank you, thank you for coming up with us on the show today. I remain Emmanuel Ufon, your regular host. Stay tuned until I come your way. Same time, same station. Bye. Bye.